Hey guys, this is Postbox Pat and welcome back to the Subscriber Kingdom and today we're going to be joined by Elite Monkey, Slender Killer and our good friend Spencer. Now, so let's get straight into this and we're going to be adding some people to the tree. So today Spencer's actually chosen someone to add to the tree. He's been through the comment section and he's chosen our friend Vlog Nation because he's been commenting some great stuff about the world and also he wants to join the world and we're going to allow him to join as soon as possible. So Vlog Nation, if you're watching this video, congratulations my friend, you have been added to the tree of light. Now recently we've started adding people to the tree of light again just because I thought, you know what, it's time to get some people back on the tree of light and we thought you know if you guys comment good stuff about the world we'll get you on the tree of light and you guys can join right in on the tree of light so it's pretty easy to get straight on the tree of light anyway so here we are back in our little cave on the ground and uh, we're going to be showing off some new things as well that we haven't really done recently it's kind of new for the new people anyway we've got this inside the tree that i don't usually show off very often we've got band players we've got trusted players and we've got the super helpers we've also added a few people to the trusted players as always we've got some new people joining us so if anyone else is new as well who hasn't come down here yet feel free to add yourself down here you've got slender killer and we've got our friend elite monkey over here as well he's been added and also because spencer has been in the world all the way since episode 16 which is almost two years which is over three years now actually because it was subscriber kingdom's birthday the other day and unfortunately we did miss it because i was pretty busy but it wasn't too much we haven't done too much so it's not a huge celebration it's only the third birthday but it is still pretty cool and spencer has been added to the moderator board so that's pretty awesome the super helpers so that's pretty good to have another person added to that who actually has been on the world so long they know a lot about it and they know kind of how it works and how it works and how it rolls and things like that which is really awesome spencer has been really good for actually building the hotel floors that's been his main job in subscriber kingdom and speaking of hotel floors we'll head up there right now and show off exactly what spencer has done now you guys are probably thinking pat how big is this hotel going to be i will describe that in a moment when we get up there it's a long traveling distance to get up there so bear with me where we climb all these huge stairs climbing up to the top of the hotel because obviously that is right down there and up at bedrock down there and then all the way up here the hotel takes you all the way to the sky limit almost and i'll show you guys exactly what's going to be happening with the hotel so we'll climb the stairs just for the sake of it because it's pretty fun climbing the stairs if you're wondering what's in all these rooms one day i'll do another tour of the hotel but for now we're not going to go through all the rooms because there are so so many rooms to go through each one has got a different theme a different video for it everything's slightly different within the subscriber kingdom so it's pretty awesome just to see all these things going on now there is a fly flying around my room as i'm recording this video and if this fly lands on me I'm going to be pretty jumpy because it was massive. It's probably about as big as my hand. I don't know why it's so big, but it keeps jumping on me and it keeps coming towards the TV on my computer. So I'm there like, <laughs> but anyway, that's completely off topic, but it's pretty funny. And uh, we're climbing this hotel and hopefully we'll make it to the top in time and uh, be able to show you guys this huge floor. So what Spencer showing us? Oh yeah, he's be Spencer is recopying his rooms if you haven't known. And this is actually his room for now. We've actually given this one to him because, you know, we used to do room giveaways on Twitter. But for now, we've kind of gone off that because it's been difficult to get people in. Oh, wow, my clouds are on. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Got my clouds turned on for the lag videos. And here we are on this floor. And Spencer has extended the hotel by one, two, three layers which is pretty insane now if i am correct i think he's done them all correct the top one looks slightly too small but i don't know yet i haven't been on there i'll have to go and check it out uh the gap between them is five in glass panes as long as each one's got five in glass panes it's easy even if you have made a mistake it's not hard to replace on these so we've got this one here and we've got this one here which is one two three four five and i think the top one looks like it's four from the bottom but i may be wrong yeah, it is for. I think you're going to have to extend the top one by one more up, unfortunately. Obviously, it's quite easy to make a mistake because down at the bottom, we did make mistakes. Uh, it shouldn't take too long to extend up if you just go up and put. I recommend probably putting the wood on first and then taking that layer out. It's probably the quickest way to do it. Anyway, so one thing that I was also thinking as well, I'm not too sure if we need to delete this layer, unfortunately, because lower down, the floor is actually three and four, but I'm not too sure if I want to change it so it kind of like. But it'll kind of look weird because it like opens up and shrinks. I'll show you guys that when we get further down the hotel. I'll take my render crowds off if I can find it. Obviously, the main menu takes a while to load. But I think render crowd... Oh, what's happened here? <laughs> credits. I did not click on the credits. User interface. Render clouds is not under that. I can't even... Graphics is definitely under there. There you go. There you go. So render clouds has now been turned off so you guys can see better and see down the hotel. So I'll show you guys when we get down. The hotel is actually different sizes for each window. So I'm not too sure yet if we're going to leave this or not. Uh, but... We'll have a look. But anyway, you're probably wondering what I was talking about about the hotel. Well, one of my aims for the hotel is eventually to get it as close as to the airspawn as possible, but not so close. So it we don't want to touch it. We just want to be about a floor underneath the airspawn. And then we're going to have little cloud islands, which you can end a pearl to or jump to, should I say. Jump to is probably a bit risky, but we might still do it because it's fun. I have little islands that you can jump to where you can get up to spawn. So we no longer have to use this big 
trainy thing going up there maybe we can move that big trainy thing to the back of the hotel over here so it comes up the hotel and doesn't ruin the spawn like the look of the spawn which i do like the train thing going up but it's just it just doesn't look very good we need to think of a cool design for it and that's why i think the hotel could be a cool way of getting up to the spawn obviously it'd take a while to come up all the stairs in the hotel but surely we can build some sort of shortcut around the back or something uh, we're going to hop down from here we're not going to go down all the stairs i'm just going to end up down i'm not going to take any fall damage doing that so we'll just end up down and uh show you guys the hotel from the outside and explain what i mean by this window issue that's going on it's quite hard to understand spencer's actually killed himself <laughs> it's quite hard to understand but if you look closely it all looks the same because it's such a huge building but if you look really closely the bottom floor is actually free three and then it goes four then it goes four then it goes four and then it goes five and it's been five all the way and then we could do two fours and two threes and that could end it off the hotel and you wouldn't notice because of the huge size of the building you wouldn't actually notice the windows are shrinking unless i pointed this out in the video like i'm doing which we could do um i don't think spencer was actually aiming to that i think he actually made a mistake but we could actually do that uh, it's not about it's an idea i've always had in my head so maybe we might leave it and try it and see how it looks and if it doesn't look very good we'll get rid of it but it means we could have more floors because it kind of compacts the space Base. obviously the rooms are a lot more difficult to build uh, in a smaller area because you don't get as much space to do structures and stuff for example the lobby which is my still my favorite interior in the whole hotel the lobby is always going to be my favorite uh this is a really small room you'll notice it's only three tall and this is a really nice design for a three tall room it's probably my favorite design out of them all it's just got the nicest structure to it i just think it's the best color theme floor the way the floor flows the way everything works in this room is just really really nice and i just think it's probably one of the best things that we've ever done in subscriber kingdom in my opinion that's my opinion definitely my favorite interior has got to be the lobby out of everything it's just always will be and it just will always be in my head this room whatever game we ever play it'll always be this room but this is my favorite room in my subscriber kingdom like i've said many times and what else have we done in these latest few videos and what else have we been working towards we have been working towards the archery range we're actually going to be able to test this out a little bit we're going to be able to show you guys some of the shoots we've been working on and describe how they work and show you guys some of the archery range targets that we've actually built so you guys can shoot so watch sure you don't fall down them holes there because we'll show them off in a minute so i've put these chests into here uh, and inside these chests we've got some bows nicely placed in there like that and then we've got loads of arrows and bows bows in there and then in these ones up here you can get your bows from there and i think these are going to be the arrows in here yes we've got a lot of arrows uh, in these chests right here and you can basically just grab some arrows so i'll demonstrate this in a set let me just wing in some of my spare stuff in my inventory and i'll take some arrows and a bow and show you guys what we can do with this so if i take a stack of 32 from here i'll take a bow from the machine over here nicely done grab a bow just about broken one over here and then we'll get in a position and i'll show you guys me pinging some new targets so we've got quite a few targets out in the field that we've got different ones and i'll explain how it's going to work we've got uh, the green ones which are like the medium ones you can shoot at them so we'll aim at this green one here and see if we can hit it nice we've got that one and you've got like the half slab ones which are like a little bit more difficult to hit they're like really cool ones obviously uh elite monkey isn't a target he's just out there having a little run around but we could actually try and hit him so i hit that half slab one there and then you've got uh them ones over there, you've got that green one again over there. You've got the blue one there. And you've got these pop-ups here. These are where skeletons are actually going to pop up. And you're going to be able to shoot them as they pop up. And they're going to be able to get out of some of the pop-ups. Not all of them. But, and then they're going to be walking around. So they're going to be like moving targets to shoot at. Also, you've got the really far targets. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit it. Uh, I think the arrows don't actually render in at that range. But you've got the two, you've got the three red targets at the back. We'll go and keep firing as much as we can. And then we'll get out and see if the arrows have actually hit them red targets. Uh, we've got quite a lot of targets at distance, so we're going to see just firing loads of arrows, see what we can hit, and then uh, we'll see if we've actually hit any of these targets. I think a lit monkey's trying to signal that we may have hit them. Let's go and take an end of pearl and have a little look. So yeah, we have hit them. We haven't hit them right in the center, but you can see that we're clearly hitting these targets with a few of our shots. And you've got different ones you can aim at. You've also got these really challenging half slab ones with like the stairs on. Oh, not half slabs, but we are going to put some half slab ones back here, and then we're going to put some more little like targets down on the ground maybe some like carpets and things like that, that you can aim at and then uh, that's really going to be it for in here obviously the skeletons are going to pop up and we are in peaceful at the moment so no skeletons are actually popping up but i will show you guys how we have done that and you're probably wondering how have you managed to get skeletons to pop up and then with the wall on that really nice design almost finished it we finished it on the inside just the outside of the wall to do now i love this little design here this is my favorite part to the wall the way it like curves in uh, i just don't i thought this was going to look really bad but then when i did it it really turned out quite nice the way it actually you can go underneath there and 
here's the archery range. I was thinking of putting a fence here, but honestly, there is no point because you just want to be able to get into the range. It's just basically a range where you shoot stuff. I never expected it to turn out this nice. And around here, we're going to have more shooting target areas so you can stand here and shoot from. We're going to definitely fence off this side of the lake. Obviously, I have not all fenced off, but kind of put like a mini wall on this side of the river. Uh, we'll get rid of these blocks eventually in these chests and put something on here where you can stand here and shoot at targets and aim at stuff, which is going to look really awesome. But let me demonstrate how these kind of skeletons will pop up if you notice in here we have a skeleton spawner just through here and obviously we're gonna have to change this up slightly because skeletons don't go underwater i believe they don't anyway but one thing that i was thinking that this may work is because in the past it has worked which makes me think that they may still pop up because skeletons don't like to swim don't like to sink as we know but if i sign this off so the water doesn't flow down here, then surely the skeletons will be forced to go down here. They'll go down like this. You'll notice how I get pushed into here like this. Obviously, there's a few little errors with this that still need correcting there and then. Uh, but you can see how the skeletons get pushed into here. And uh, they go all the way down here like this. And obviously, they'll be moving quite slow, unfortunately. So it will take a while for them to get up high and up, up there. But it's worth it because you'll be doing some targets on the targets. And by the time you've done all the targets next minute, you'll be here. And then a skeleton will arrive here. Obviously, there's a few mistakes that are there and then that need fixing that will definitely correct with these machines. Some of them are a bit dodgy. They need working on a little bit. And then as the skeleton gets up here, you'll pop up nicely. The skeleton will pop up and you'll be able to shoot it. I'll demonstrate one of the ones that actually work 100%. There's actually one which definitely does work. It's got a really nice stream to it. I think it's the one on the right. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty certain that it is the one on the right so i'll show you that one that's probably the best one that's like the oldest one we've had so you drop into here like this takes you down nicely pushes you in with the stream and it takes you in and turns around here goes down like that and obviously there's a few little mistakes where you can imagine the skeletons might get stuck you've got to make sure that it all flows the one the reason i really like this one is see how it consistently flows you drop down like that end of stream pushes you to the end and you come up nicely like that it's just a really nice design coming up the holes, <laughs> look at all these here, and then you just pop up like that, that's probably the most efficient one, and obviously we'd have to move the half slabs for the skeletons to get out, if you don't remove the half slab, the skeletons are probably going to be stuck in there, I think, so, it's pretty awesome, I really like that, nice little designs going on with the little bit of the archery range, which I really do like on the subscriber kingdom, but that's all we've been up to at the subscriber kingdom at the moment, we haven't really done too much on the subscriber kingdom, anything else, apart from Spencer, as we know, has joined us on the moderator list, and these two have joined us as trusted players, there's also a lot of other people who are going to be joining us, trusted players, any of the recent people you have seen are also trusted players, they just haven't put their names on the board, and we have started the trio light up again, so don't forget to go and check that out, and rate your Minecraft, what an awesome series that's becoming, it's been great doing you tours on your guys world so if any of you have got really nice worlds for me to tour on don't forget to go and tweet me at postbox part send me some pictures as well that's the best way on twitter send me some pictures of your world i'll have a look at them definitely reply to you and see what we can get done with your tour of your world so that'd be really awesome and uh if you guys can do that, that'd be awesome. And also, if you want to join the Subscriber Kingdom, Twitter's a great place. It is very difficult to get in through Twitter, though, and it's very difficult. It's even more difficult to get from my profile, so bear with the Subscriber Kingdom. The best way to probably get in the Subscriber Kingdom is by doing a Rate Your Minecraft and coming through that way. Otherwise, it is quite difficult, but I do tweet out every now and then, probably like once a week, asking, do you guys want to help out on Subscriber Kingdom this week? So don't forget to go and do that. And once again, this is Postbots Pat, signing out.